Joey again. It is a pretty misty morning here in Georgia. It's actually kind of unusually foggy today, but I thought it was really a pretty morning, so I decided to come out here and just catch you up on where I am with planning for my AT through hike. So as you can tell from some of my past videos, I've been spending a lot of time on gear selection, doing a little make your own gear, that sort of thing. And that's been a lot of fun, but I am to the point now where I'm happy to say with 171 days till my hike, um, I'm in pretty good shape for gear. I feel like I could really pack up and leave tomorrow if I needed to, <laughs> I kind of wish I could. Uh, but uh, I've got several months to go and, and the gear is in good shape. My um, shakedown hikes have been going well and I've got one this weekend with a group from the Georgia Appalachian Trail Club, which should be fun. We're gonna go up to Siler Bald. And then in another couple weeks, I'm gonna be doing a trail down in South Georgia uh, for a three or four day trip. So that'll be nice. So I'm feeling pretty good about the gear, but that puts me into um, a place that's not quite as much fun for me. I really enjoy the gear research and testing and that sort of thing. But now it's getting down to more planning and it's getting real in terms of things like what am I gonna do with the pets <laughs> and who's gonna pay the bills because that's something that I do in my family and just all of those kinds of little logistics you know should I send mail drops and if I do where are they gonna go and how much planning do I need to do in terms of where I'm gonna be when and I think the answer to that is that it's gonna be the first few days I'll probably plan out in pretty much you know tight detail but beyond that I think I'm gonna go with the flow and see but all those kinds of questions are coming up and so that's making the planning with a little bit more real and a little scary making me wonder sometimes do I really have it in me can I stick with it for the five or six months that it's gonna take me to hike the whole trail those kind of questions are making it feel really real uh, so what that means for me is that I'm making that mental shift from this is a great fantasy, kind of a romantic ideal of taking a grand adventure to, oh crap, <laughs> we're doing this. <laughs> so that has been a little bit of a challenge for me, um, just to kind of stay stay the course, I guess, and, and to really be enthusiastic about the planning and to um, figure out the solutions to those kinds of problems as they come up, particularly the pets, because um, my dog is 14 now and um, she needs some additional care when my husband's at work. So some of those kinds of questions are gonna be a little bit challenging to solve, but we will, we will work them out. I am committed to the hike, and I know that stuff's gonna to come together. Uh, so a couple other things I wanted to share with you. Um, I'm not the typical hiker. <laughs> you may have figured that out already, but um, if you look at the data and the research that's been done on who does a through hike, uh, generally it's somebody who's either uh, younger, they have maybe just graduated and have some time before they get into the workforce and they're using that time to go out and fulfill this dream of through hiking or maybe they have um, just recently retired and so they've got time to fulfill the dream. Uh, and then uh, there's a lot of people who are sort of in between, maybe they're recently divorced or they've lost somebody who's important to them and they've got a lot of things that they just want to work out on the trail. Uh, so that's kind of the typical profile, but I am not in that class, I guess, <laughs> class, club, whatever you want to call it. I am not in that group. Uh, I have a business, I'm self-employed, and it is a service-oriented business. I do consulting and um, speaking and writing and that sort of thing, working with business owners, and if I'm not here, my business really isn't running. So I need to figure out how do I really take a sabbatical for six months uh, without completely killing the business and how do I keep it going? That has also put me in an interesting position which I didn't anticipate when I made the decision a few months ago to through hike that now being less than six months out, I really don't feel comfortable taking on any long-term consulting projects. I don't wanna make commitments to uh, clients either as a coach or consultant for them uh, and then not be able to follow through later in the year to have to kind of cut them off when I go to hike. So I'm in a situation where, you know, I don't want the business to completely dry up. I'm trying to make as much money as I can before I leave so that I have money in the bank. And as I mentioned in my first video, one of my first videos, I have some debt that I want to pay off. So I want to work as much as possible, but I'm in this kind of limbo situation where it's like, how do I do that without entering into commitments for clients that I can't keep? So I've made the mind shift that I really need to step back and do some kind of small projects, short-term projects, that sort of thing, and hopefully I'll be able to make that shift with my clients as well and keep the income coming in so that I am in the place where I want to be financially uh, before I start the hike. 
So that's something else that's on my mind. Um, I'm pretty much an optimistic, upbeat, happy kind of person, but some of these things are kind of weighing on me a little bit. So I, it, the past couple of weeks have been just sort of a very kind of thoughtful time for me. Uh, a lot to think about as um, anybody does when they're getting ready to plan help the through hike, but that's kind of where I am. Uh, if anybody's watching this and you have been through a similar circumstance, I would love to hear from you. Any tips and advice that you have, feel free to share them in the comments. They're always welcome. And um, appreciate you tuning in and listening and staying with me through this journey of both planning the hike and um, also very excited uh, to have you with me as I do my hike. And on that note, one thing that I am very excited about is that I was approved to blog for the trek for 2018. So I hope that you will stay tuned and watch my posts uh, when I start writing those as well. And again, thanks for watching. I really appreciate all the support and I will see you on the trail. Take care. So before you go, I wanted to share with you some pictures from a hike that we did recently. We had a chance to go out with some friends to Cloudland Canyon State Park, which is in the upper northwest corner of Georgia. It's right by Lookout Mountain, and uh, so it's very convenient if you're coming from North Georgia or from Alabama or even eastern Tennessee, and it's a really neat park. It's got thousand foot high cliffs with um, lots of stand sandstone and I heard caves that we didn't see too many. There was one little one that we called the bear den that we passed a couple times but uh, overall it was just a really incredible hike. Um, we did what's called the West Rim Trail and that is I want to say 4.8 miles. Uh, I think we logged a little bit more than that because there were some side trails to catch the views but just breathtaking and thankfully it was a beautiful fall day not a whole lot of fall color out yet but really just a very pretty day uh, for a hike a few elevation changes so not incredibly challenging but enough to kind of get your heart rate going which was nice and uh, it was just something that I've, I've heard a lot about over the years of living in Georgia but I have never seen it so it was a, really a treat to be able to get out and see the views get a little bit of exercise and of course we saw lots of amazing rocks uh, looked almost like a rock farm and um, if you like rocks this is a great place to see some really cool uh, granite boulders and so really just a, a fun fun day so I highly encourage you to uh, take a trip up there if it's not too far and um, if not I hope at least you've uh, enjoyed these pictures so take care and I will see you on the trail <music>